it's Christina. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a new quick tutorial for you guys. So I was inspired by Marc Jacobs collection for New York Fashion Week which was actually for spring 2014. But I saw this video recently because you know New York Fashion Week was just like a couple of weeks ago. And I will link that video down below in the info box. It was from Mod TV, which I've subscribed to them and I love their videos. They're always posting like different fashion shows and stuff like that. So it's a quick very simple look. They kept the whole face pretty natural on the girls. You know, there's no blush, there's no lipstick, there's really minimal makeup. The skin is flawless, and the only color that you see on the face are the eyes. So they just did a pop of color. It's like a bright turquoise sort of liner, and that is it. And mascara. Yeah, the eyelashes are super long and dramatic, but other than that, that is pretty much it. So it's very easy to do. You can just quickly do this before you go into school or work in the morning. It takes like five minutes. So it's super easy, you know, for beginners also. And one of the girls, actually the models in the runway show, she said that it's kind of makes her feel like a sphinx or something like that, like the Egyptian sphinx because of the cat eye. So you could definitely rock this at night as well if you don't feel like doing a whole like smoky eye or if you maybe just don't have time for that, you know, or maybe that's not your style. You can totally rock this and make it sexy with like a nice juicy pout or something like that. You can throw in some lip gloss and make it hot. And I also wanted to mention real quick that this look is perfect for any colored eyes because as you can tell, I have light brown eyes and a lot of the girls in the video, if you watched it, you know, the models in the fashion show, they had like green or light blue eyes, they had like light eyes. So therefore, I think that this look is perfect for both light and dark eyes. And I just got my Beauty Box 5 in the mail today, so the five products that are in here, I actually incorporated like three of them in this tutorial today just to show you how they work and stuff like that, so that way I can give you guys a little review. And if you haven't checked out Beauty Box 5 before, I will link their website down below. It's a monthly subscription that I have. And I always do videos for them every single month, like either unboxing videos or like tutorials like this, so that way you guys can see the products and how they work. So if you guys want to know how I achieve this look, then please keep watching. Alright, so I've already done my skincare, applied my moisturizer and everything like that, but I'm going to take one more product from the Beauty Box 5 that I got this month and apply it onto my face. So this is from Skin with Two Eyes and this is called Instant Skin Tightener and Line Filler. And it's just a little sample like this, so I'm going to try it out. So I'm just going to pour some out and if it's a line filler, I imagine it would be like a primer because a lot of primers, they have that sort of tendency to fill up your pores and make everything smooth so that way you have like a nice surface to work with when you apply your foundation. Now for foundation I'm going to mix these two. This is Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup and the color is called Sand and then this is Victoria's Secret Tinted Moisturizer and the color, I'm not even sure what the color is. I mentioned the color in the haul when I first showed that um, Tinted Moisturizer so whenever I first got it it was on the box but it's not on the actual packaging. So I'm just going to mix these two together and apply it all over my face. I'm just going to dot it and then I'm going to blend it out later. It feels so weird doing a tutorial. I haven't done one in ages. I feel like this is super dark. I don't know if I should like pick a lighter foundation or something. I'm going to take a little bit of this Pixie Flawless Beauty Fluid Foundation because it's a little bit lighter. And apply some of this because I feel like if I'm going to put the powder on, the face is going to be too dark compared to my neck and it's going to be a mess. By the way, if you're wondering what's on my nails, it's this Retina Polish, and this is by Julep. It's called Delani, and I will put the link to it down below in the info box so you can check it out. And I'm definitely feeling the fall, so you know, everybody wears their burgundies and reds and stuff in the fall, so I just figured I would make some red nails for myself, because I never wear red nails except for fall. Next, I'm just going to give myself a little bit of extra coverage underneath my eyes. This is from Pixie. This is their Flawless Beauty Stick and Warm. And by the way, the foundation that I just used was also in Warm from Pixie. So this is the same exact shade as the foundation, so it's not lighter. That's why I'm going to be using a different concealer after this, but this is just to give me an extra little bit of coverage because... I need it in this area because I feel like, you know, putting it all the way up here really sort of brightens everything up underneath your eyes. Now for the light concealer, I'm going to take the Sony Kasha Concealer Palette and I'm going to take some of these shades, mix them up together. This is my Sedona Lace Eye Brush in 11. So I'm just going to put it underneath my eye and pull it downwards. And then I'm going to take a line down my nose to highlight. Now I'm just going to set everything with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural and the color is medium dark. And my favorite powder brush ever, this is the Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. So I'm just going to set both the concealer and the foundation. And don't forget to take it down your neck. Like that. 
Now, like I said earlier, the skin is kept pretty natural, so they didn't use any bronzers, any blushes, anything like that. But I am gonna use a little bit of matte bronzer to contour, just to make my cheekbones and nose bridge stand out. But like I said, it's matte, so it's not gonna be shimmery. It's not gonna be like in your face. So it's just to sort of make your features stand out, especially in photography. Like that. For the eyebrows, I'm going to slightly fill them in. Nothing too drastic or too bushy or anything like that. And I ran out of my very favorite Jordana eyeliner pencil that I use for my brows. I'm going to use this Pencil Me um, Natural Formula Eye Accent Pencil in Silky Suede. And this comes with a little sharpener and I'm going to use my uh, angled Sonia Kashuk brush with it. Now I'm just going to use this little spoolie from Sedona Lace to make the look a little bit more natural. Now let me just zoom in. So they have pretty long dramatic lashes, so that's why I'm going to curl my lashes first using my favorite eyelash curler. This is from Julep, which like I said I will link below. So I'm going to curl them to make sure they're super long and they go straight up because I know some people's lashes go like straight forward and that's not good. So I'm going to like sort of in between, I don't know. And then I picked two mascaras out of all the ones that I'm using right now. And these are the most dramatic ones. I'm gonna apply both and I'm gonna do two coats just to make sure my lashes are like super bold. So this one is from Lorac. It's called Multiplax 3D Lashes and it's super black. It is Then I'm going to curl them again and I'm going to apply the second coat of mascara and this is from Pixie. This is called Lash Booster Mascara. So while I'm letting the mascara dry, before doing the eyeliner, I'm going to apply just a little bit of shimmer in the corners just to brighten up the eyes. So I'm going to take this shimmer right here. This is from the Beauty Box 5 that I just showed you guys. The brand is called Bella Pierre Cosmetics and the color is called Celebration. So it's just a loose pigment like this. It's a gorgeous golden color. So I'm just going to take some of this tiny little brush and this is my Sedona Lace Eye Brush 21. I'm going to dab some in the inner corners. So if you watch the video that I linked below, you'll know that the girls have variations of blues and greens on their eyes. So some girls have like electric blue, some girls have like a dark blue, some girls had, you know, like a dark green color. So it depends on like your features and what suits you best. Pick a bluish turquoise color. So this is the pencil I'm going to be working with today. This is the Urban Decay Glide on Eye Pencil in Radium. So it's just an electric turquoise color. So I'm going to first slime my waterline with it. And then I'm going to tie it line on the upper waterline. I'm going to also take a little bit out on the outer corner, but they didn't really have a lot of liner on that upper lash line. If they did at all, it's kind of hard to see, so I'm just going to smudge it out because you can't really even tell if it's on your tie line. I'm just going to gently smudge it out. And then I'm going to pull this and do a wing. Like that. And then also the girls had a little bit of this going inwards. So continue on this line that you're doing on the upper lash line. Like this. And just pull it in. And if you make it a little bit too far, of course, you can adjust it with like a little Q-tip or something. And if you want it to be super dramatic and electrical, you can go over that line a few times. Just to darken it up. Like that. Thank you. 
Now for my lips, I'm going to leave them pretty neutral because the girls, like I said, they didn't have any makeup on their lips or cheeks that was at least visible, you know, maybe like a lip balm or something. So I'm going to take this other product that I got in my Beauty Box 5 for September. This is the Body Trench Lip Drench uh, Moisturizing Lip Balm. The scent is pomegranate. So this is yummy and it has tiny hints of red in it. So it's just like a chapstick, like a lip balm with red tint. So it's not a red color. As you can tell, it's not a lipstick. It's just a moisturizing lip balm. The least your lips looking very natural, you know. It's not like a visible color, but it still has a natural tint to your lips. So that way you don't look like a dead corpse, like they don't blend in with your face, you know what I mean? So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. And so like I said, this is super easy to do and it's very natural. It's not too much makeup, so you can totally rock this in school or something like that. There's no eyeshadow, no bronzer, no blush, no lipstick. No eyeliner that is like, you know, super like black and bold. So it's very easy to do. It's quick. You can do this, you know, at home before you go into school or work, you know, if your work allows blue or something like bright like this. It's easy to do. This doesn't take a lot of time. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. So please thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. And also check me out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. I will post all my links down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.